it's over. It's a 37-yard line. The Nebraska Cornhuskers are so far setting up like they're the Washington Huskies. They had... Hill, Kevin Raymakers, Pat Engelbert, John Perella, David White, the front five for Nebraska. Mike Petko and Mike Anderson, the linebackers. Back to throw Watson on first down. Rifles a pass across the middle to the tight end, Russ Campbell, who makes a catch at the 45-yard line and picks up eight yards on first down. So Kansas State throwing the ball. Three for three is Watson out of the shoot. And Kansas State will a great job of keeping the Nebraska defensive front out, even in the blitzing formations that they've used. Curtis Cart and Steve Carmer, Tyrone Bird, Tyrone Leggett. Now a broken play. Watson trying to hand it off, and nobody was there. And Watson goes out of bounds. Atherton against them. There, Paul Watson spun out thinking the handoff was going to the left. His backs and Eric Gallon were going to the right, so he just ran out of bounds on the left sideline. Watson. It's 19 of 31 on third down plays this year. Back on third and four. Fires across the middle of Russ Campbell. Leaps high to make the catch and a cat first down at midfield. Russ Campbell is 6'5", and that time went high in a pass that appeared to be was headed for an incompletion. He goes high like a basketball rebounder to make the catch, and K-State's got its second first down. Campbell, then he fired the football over. Kansas State picks up a first down on third down. Football right at midfield, 9.44 left to go. First quarter, no score. K-State single back gallon. He'll get it on the draw. Angling to the right across the 45. He runs hard to the 44-yard line and picks up six yards. Tackled by Darren Williams for Nebraska. Strong side linebacker for the Huskers. This is Kansas State. Down three, football to the Nebraska 44-yard line. 9-10 left to go, first quarter, no score. Kansas State, two receivers to the right, tight and left, flanker left, handoff Gallon. Breaks one tackle, now slides forward across the 40, fumbles the football, but they'll rule him down at the 40-yard line, and Kansas State has another first down as Steve Carmer 
Strong safety from Wahoo, Nebraska, makes the tackle for the Huskers. Hyman just held their position against the Nebraska defense, and finally Eric Gallen found room to dive forward for the first down. 8.45 left to go first quarter. Play a fake by Watson, looking right, pumping now, fires a pass that is broken up by Steve Karma, the strong safety. Curtis Madden, the fullback, the intended receiver. Karmer can play pass state at the 39 of Nebraska. 8.40 left to go first quarter, no score. Quentin New Year, the center. Lined up across Pat Engelberg. Now moving right is Watson unloading the pass that is off the fingertips of Eric Gallon. It was thrown behind it. Steve Carmer was there covering the play. This is one. Third and ten, Kansas State at the 39 of Nebraska. 8.35 left to go first quarter, no score. Kansas State, this drive started at its own 24-yard line. Back to throw Watson. Pocket set, looking right, firing right downfield. The pass is caught at the five-yard line of Nebraska. A one-handed grab by who? Guess who? Michael Smith. First down goal to go, K-State at the Husker 5. A 35-yard completion. Michael Smith lined up as the inside receiver on a, the twin side, the right side of the field. He was lined up on the hash mark. He ran straight down the hash mark, beating Tyrone Leggett. Tyrone Leggett was right next to Michael Smith. Paul Watson threw a perfect pass, fell right over to the right side of Michael Smith. He reached up with his right hand, pulled it in. Kansas State has a first down at the 5. A tremendous catch by Mike Smith. The second all-time receiver in the Big 8 behind Hartley Dykes. K-State I formation, double tight ends now. First and goal at the 5. Lead play to Gallon, trying the left side. He gets hit, now breaks one tackle. Still in trouble, he'll still lose yardage. Back at the 7-yard line. Nebraska's dead over the football. Nebraska in its 6-5 goal line defense. I formation, double tight ends. Smith wide to the right, now in motion toward the line of scrimmage. Play fake by Watson. Looking left, wants to throw the football. He's in trouble, sheds one tackler. Now we'll run, now we'll throw for the end zone. Touchdown, K-State! Mike Smith caught it. No flags on the play. The Wildcats have a 6-0 lead on a scramble run by Watson and then a throw before he crossed the line of scrimmage. Touchdown to Michael Smith. Kansas State has only its second touchdown in seven years against Nebraska. What a great play by Paul Watson. He was back in the pocket, but David White, the defensive end, was left free. No one blocked him, but he was able to get away from David White. What a great move in the pocket. Forced him out of the pocket. Rolling to the left, he found Michael Smith running in the back portion of the end zone, right to left, uncovered. He threw the football in there. Michael Smith caught the pass, and Kansas State is the first on the board. 7-17 left to go in the first quarter. Tate Wright's point after is there. Kansas State, 7 Nebraska nothing. The first lead against the Huskers maybe since the 1983 game when K-State had a 2-0 lead on the safety by Mike Rozier. The Cats have the lead 7-zip. Back with a Cat kickoff after this timeout from your favorite local Wildcat station. The Wildcats kick it off. Tyrone Hughes takes it at the five-yard line. Hughes is up across the 20 and goes down. Chuck Culver again and Mike Eckler make the tackle for Kansas State. Eckler out of Blair, Nebraska. Culver with his second kickoff team tackle in the football game. Play the birthday game. K-State, Nebraska, first and 10. Football at its own 23, 7-13 left in the quarter. Quarterback Keith and McCann out of the power eye formation. Toss sweep left side, Derek Brown. He's in trouble. He'll go down for a loss. Back at the 21-yard line, loss of two. Greg Patterson and Chris Patterson, along with Sean Dabney, over there for Kansas State. There was no room for the running back to run. Keith and McCann, the Husker quarterback, a senior. Grand Prairie, Texas, that's the same hometown as C.J. Masters of the Wildcats. Draw play goes to Brown. He's got the open field. He's at the 30, 35, and Brown. Derek Brown with a run up to the 37-yard line. William Price made the out of the huddle. Johnny Mitchell now in a tight end right side. The Offensive Player of the Year last year. Offensive Freshman of the Year last year in the Big 8 Conference. Lewis, the fullback, Brown, the eye back. Brown gets the call in the lead play right. Gets across the 40 and up to the 42-yard line. Picks up four yards on first down. Six minutes left to go first quarter. Kansas State. Every play. In past years, Kansas State were making one-on-one -on -one tackles all the time. Now you're seeing two and three guys in on every tackle. McCann on second down. And a short six with a wing set left. Gives it off to Lance Lewis, the fullback. He's at the 45. Lewis is at the 50. Angling outside and is still in bounds all the way down to the Kansas State 19-yard line. Lance Lewis from Scott City, Kansas. 
Williams. Lance Lewis was able to take it upfield and all the way down to the 20 yard line while tight roping that sideline. Three receivers to the right side for Keith and McCant. First down Huskers, the Wildcat 20. Hand off to Derek Brown, angling to the outside. Barton missed him. William Price has to shove him out of bounds at the 12 yard line. And a pickup of eight yards as that time Nebraska goes to the weak side of the Danny Mitchell. Double tight ends. As the Huskers also have a tight end on the left side, that's William Washington. Quarterback Keith and McCant with a power eye formation behind him. On second down and two at the Wildcat 12. McCant will option left. He's at the 10. Gets tripped up at the 5. Down to the one-yard line. Keith and McCann on the load option. Keeps the football. And Nebraska will have first down and goal to go at the one-yard line. In the play. And now they're down to the one-yard line. Quick count. Double tight ends. Hand off. Goes to Brown. Touchdown, Nebraska. Derek Brown dives over the left side of the offensive line for a Husker touchdown. And Derek Brown has got his eighth rushing touchdown of the season. Got the football across the plane. That's a touchdown for Nebraska. They finish off a 77-yard drive in seven running plays for a touchdown. So Nebraska, after passing three times out of six plays on the first drive, come back running the football, taking it back to their strength, and they get a touchdown on the drive. Byron Bennett will try the extra point. He has struggled this year as the kick is up and good. Bennett taking over for the graduated Greg Berrios. Nebraska ties the game. It's us, the Huskers 7, the Wildcats 7, back with NU's kickoff. With 5.04 left first quarter after this time out on the Wildcat Football Network. Mitch Holtz is back along with Stan Weber. Dan Ballou at Memorial Stadium in Lincoln, Nebraska. Byron Bennett's kickoff will be taken by Andre Coleman at the 5. Sprint to the 10, 15, 20, Coleman 25, Coleman 30. Coleman across the 35 up to the 36-yard line. The second-best kick return in the Big 8 Conference is Andre Coleman. A great return there for the Wildcats. Let's go down to Dan Ballou. Mitch and Stan, you've probably noticed. This turf, though, is in miserable shape. You know, we've talked in earlier years about just doing the same thing with their old turf that Kansas State did with their old turf in the previous seasons. First down, K-State play fake by Watson. Quick pass over the middle, complete to the tight end. Russ Camel. now he loses the football. It's picked up by the Huskers. Now they're going to rule it in. Completed forward pass. They're going to say that Campbell never had control of the football as he tried to make the catch at midfield. Steve Carmer, but it was such a small crease that as soon as he touched the football, there were Nebraska players hitting him. 4.52 left to go, first quarter, 7-7 tie. Play fake by Watson, rolling right, throws to Campbell, lofts a pass and makes a catch at the 45, flag on the play. Campbell across the 50 and is up to the Nebraska 47-yard line. But flags on the play. Travis Hill makes one back. Holding against Kansas State and the long pass play to the tight end, Russ Campbell, will be nullified. A-State makes a switch at right tackle. Mike Orr is in for Dave Galloy. K-State following the penalty has second and 20 at its own 26-yard line. 4.30 left to go in the first quarter. 7-7 tie. The Huskers now with eight men within three yards of the football. Kansas State back to throw Watson. Looking right now, throwing long for Frank Hernandez, and the pass is incomplete. Steve Carmer over there covering for the Huskers. Covered. It was a tough pass to complete. Kansas State didn't complete it. It's incomplete, and it's third down. Triple receivers, three receivers to the right on third down and 20. 4-18 left in the quarter, 7-7 tie. Back to throw Watson away from the blitz. He hits Gerald Benton on a short toss over the middle. Benton makes a catch and immediately goes down at the 20. Imagine playing man-to-man. -man. Kansas State has the receivers to get downfield. We've seen Michael Smith get open against the man-to-man -man coverage for a 35 gain already. Nebraska trying to go after Sean Snyder. There's a flag on the play as Snyder goes down. Nebraska was trying to block the kick as Kansas State with a long punt inside the 20. Goes out of bounds at the 21-yard line, but K-State will pick up a penalty here. But now, again, as important as it roughing the kicker or running into the kicker. And I believe it will only be running into the kicker. Sean Snyder and his father, Bill Snyder, arguing that it was roughing the kicker. Nebraska sent 10 players. If it's roughing the kicker, it's an automatic first down. It happened last week in the Kansas game. Yet, if it's running into the kicker, it's just a five-yard penalty and not an automatic first down. And Stan, a pretty good punt by Sean Snyder, 51 yards. K-State may elect to take the punt. Well, we're really going to see what Coach Snyder has in confidence of his son punting because with the five yards, he would have to kick a 46-yard punt to go back and do it again. 3.34 left to go first quarter. The Huskers with first and 10. 
at their own 21 yard line. Single back with a wing left and now the Huskers and the slot back left side Nate Turner moving forward handoff goes to Derek Brown. Brown gets up to across the 25 and shoved out of bounds at the 28 yard line. Nebraska flirting with a procedure penalty but no flag. 27 yards and now the third possession. Quarterback Keith and McCant after the gain of seven they call it as second down three football at his own 28 yard line with an eye formation. Pro eye handoff goes to Brown again running hard slashing across the 30 and up to the 33 yard line for a gain of five and a Nebraska first down. It is 36th of the year he's making his fifth consecutive start as a Wildcat. Eye formation McCant for rolling left he'll throw left to Tyrone Hughes who dives and makes the catch for the Huskers first completion of the day makes it at the 41 yard line for a gain of eight let's pause 10 seconds for station ID Nebraska after the pass completion has second down a yard to go football at the 41 and a half yard line two receivers one left one to the right and a single back is Brown he'll get the handoff up the middle runs hard across the 45 yard line and leaps forward to the 48 Greg Patterson held on to the waist of Brown to knock him down as the wide to the right John Bostic a wing left that's Abdul Muhammad I formation behind Keith and McCant here McCann on first down cross buck left side to Brown as one block explodes the 45 40 nice cutback and down to the Kansas State 36 yard line Joe Boone makes the tackle but stand in the tradition of those great Nebraska tailbacks Derek Brown running hard here Greg Patterson the strong safety and he'll get up now being helped off by Todd Torcelli and Troy Maurer of the K-State Sports Medicine crew. It's the thing you're really seeing in this drive is that Nebraska is playing at their pace, a very quick pace. When you have a running game, it doesn't take... Out of Fremont, Nebraska. Will Shields, the right guard, and all Big 8 players. Bill Ziegelbein, the center. He'll snap it to Keith and McCann. First down, Huskers at the Wildcat 36. Another... Handoff going to the wide side, and it goes to Nate Turner, and he gets thrown back for a loss. William Price came up quickly from his cornerback spot and drives the big Nate Turner back to the 39-yard line. He'll actually step up like a linebacker, and he'll be a key in the running game today. Actually call it loss of two. Second and 12 Huskers at the 38 of K-State. McCant gives it off to the fullback, Lance Lewis. And Laird Veach. Makes the tackle for K-State, the sophomore from Manhattan. Good one-on-one. -on -one. Football team is the word depth. They're running three and four players in throughout drives and changing up. They've got not only a first string that can play at a certain level, they've also got some second string players who are as good as the first string. Tight end left, wing left. K-State showing blitz on third down and six. McCant will keep on the option. He's at the 30, he's at the 20. Angling to the right side, he's at the 10, five. Touchdown, Nebraska. Keith and McCant on a run of 32 yards. K-State appeared originally to have the play defended in an athletic run by McCant to run all the way across the field to get the score. Mitch, you said it and allowed Keith and McCant even to get to the right side of him. He took it in and finished off a 32-yard touchdown run from the option. Byron Bennett will try the extra point. Mike Stiggy holds. The kick is up. And the kick is good. A minute seven left to go first quarter. Nebraska 14, K-State 7. The Husker kick will come your way after these messages from your favorite local Wildcat station. The kick away by Nebraska, short kick taken by Curtis Madden who gets hit immediately to the 22-yard line, a high pooch kick. And down the field to make the hit, Ernie Beeler. Shoulder, a very tough catch. Instead of what would have been a fumble if it hit the ground, Kansas State caught and gets the field position at the 22-yard line. And a compliment by Nebraska to say we're not going to kick deep to Andre Coleman. Play clock at one as K-State back to throw Watson. Has got time, now that time breaking down as Watson moving to his right. Now pumping, now throwing long for Mike Smith, who can't make the catch. Flag on the play, pass interference on Nebraska. Curtis Cotton was trying to deny the ball from Michael Smith, and Cotton will interfere, and K-State will have a first down. What a great job by the offensive line to give Paul Watson all the time in the world. There are 10 guys lined up at the line of scrimmage when the ball was snapped. They were in man-to-man -man coverage again, but Paul Watson had all day to stand back there. Finally, when the Nebraska players did get back, back there, Watson again did a great job of getting out of the pocket, rolling to the right. He took the opportunity. He's come from being a third-team player to a good defensive player at strong safety for K-State. First down, Wildcats at their own 37. 
Watson. Sprint draw right side to Gallon. And he runs in about three Huskers, but gains positive yards. Up to the, well, let's call it the 38-yard line. They'll only list it as a gain of one, but Stan, that could have been a long hard gain or possibly a touchdown run. They need to take that chance to possibly get one of those long runs today. Left tackle Kevin Raymakers made the tackle. Second down, nine for K-State. Football at their own 38. Play fake. Here it comes on the reverse. Andre Coleman trying to get by one guy, and he does it. He's got an open field. He's at the 40, 45, 50. He's at the 45, and Nebraska and cuts back down to the 39-yard line. How athletic is Andre Coleman, Stan Weber, that time avoiding about a 10-yard loss and may have, it may have injured his ankle. He'll limp off the field, but also K-State will end the first quarter with a long run. 14-7, Nebraska. The end of the first quarter, we'll be back with the second quarter after this time out on the Wildcat Football Network. First play of the second quarter as K-State first and 10 at the Husker 39. Watson throws near side, complete to Gerald Benton at the 35. Sheds two tacklers, he's at the 30, and falls forward to the 28-yard line for a gain of 11. Another very athletic receiver for Kansas State, Gerald Benton, Stan, the Juco transfer from Garden City, shows some athleticism and a Wildcat first down at the Husker 28. Yeah. The honorable mention, all Big 8 defensive end, makes the stop for the Huskers, but not after an 11-yard K-State pickup. Tight end right, Russ Campbell. Flanker right, Gerald Benton. Two receivers to the left. Single back is Gallon behind Watson. Draw play, Gallon, and he gets tripped up as he gets to the 25-yard line. They'll mark him down, however, at the 26, saying a knee touch there after a gain of two. John Perr, first half, Nebraska 14, K-State 7. Kansas Sailor providing our cellular service, the largest cellular system in the state of Kansas. Three receivers to the left. Tight end right is Russ Campbell. Play fake by Watson. Looking right, wanting to throw to Campbell. Now throws it long for Benton, who makes the catch. A great catch by Gerald Benton. Now they're going to say he dropped the football at the two-yard line. They're going to say Benton dropped the football at the two, and K-State will protest. Steve Carmer covered the play, plus a flag thrown all the way back at the line of scrimmage, so it all may be a moot point. Well, this play looked like great, a great play for Kansas State. Maybe a very damaged tight end delay where he acts like he blocks and then goes out to the right side. He wasn't open, so he threw the football later to Gerald Benton. Because he threw the ball, ball late, he was hit, and right now he's sitting on the 40-yard line injured. Todd Torcelli, K-State's trainer, taking a look at Paul Watson. And it appears to be a lower leg injury. But Watson trying to shake it off. But still a little woozy. All this Stops the clock with 13.50 left to go in the first half, and Nebraska leading K-State 14-7. They have not announced the penalty as yet. He's really getting into Larry Fisher. Timeout now is called by Kansas State, and let's take it. 13.50 left to go in the first half. Let's stay here now. Let's stay here as they're going to put the ball immediately in play, but K-State will be charged with the timeout stand. Right, and that's what Bill Snyder had in mind the whole time. And the wait that we had, the referees said that time, because we called timeout and didn't take Paul Watson out of the football game, was the timeout time. So they're back up to the line of scrimmage. Second and 13 for the Wildcats at the 31 in Nebraska. Back to throw Watson near side. Gallon makes a catch. He's at the 20 and gets ankle tackled down to the 16-yard line. Mike Anderson chased him down from behind. They give another first down to this K-State football team at the 16 of Nebraska. 14-7 Huskers, but K-State trying to tie this football game. A nice single will take it 10 more yards down to the 16. Watson, 9 of 13 passing for 98 yards. Single back Gallon. Back to throw Watson. He wants to run the quarterback draw. Now moving left, flag on the play. Watson's going to be sacked all the way back at the 24-yard line for a loss of 8, John Perella. K-State has rotated some players in on the offensive line. Mike Norris now at right tackle. Everybody else the same that started the game. Second down, 17 for K-State. Back to throw, Nebraska blitzing. Moving away is Watson. Rolling left now, fires the football for the end zone. It's knocked away at the one-yard line, intended for Russ Campbell. And Russ Campbell saved an interception stand. It'll go as an incompletion. Now that football was full time. Carmer, who's a very good football player, was there to almost make an interception. Stan, it was the third pass broken up in this first half by Steve Carmer. 12.58 left to go first half, 14-7 Nebraska. Back to throw Watson on third down and long. Now shifting up in the pocket is Watson. He'll scramble. He's at the 20. He's at the 15. Gets a block and goes out of bounds. Short of a first down. As a flag thrown. No, they're going to say it is a first down. Watson does scramble for the first down. 
for Nebraska. As they say, he went all the way down to the four-yard line. A first down for K-State at the four-yard line as a great scramble run by Watson. What a great play by Paul Watson. Receivers all the way downfield. Michael Smith over the middle where he was looking, slipped and fell on this turf. So Paul Watson tucked the football under and near the 10-yard line, it looked like he was out of bounds. No, he shifted left, somehow tight roped, was able to bring his foot past the first down marker, clear down to the four, and what a great play by Paul Watson. It's first down Wildcats at the four. Goal to go for the Purples trying to tie the game. 12.49 left to go for his half, 14 to seven Huskers. K-State will double tight ends. Al Jones left, Russ Campbell to the right. They're in three point stances. Now a flag thrown, illegal procedure penalty against Kansas State, one of the offensive coordinator, Dell Miller. Wing left is Mike Smith, only three yards from the line of scrimmage. Now play fake by Watson. Back to throw. He's got a lot of time to throw the football. Pumps now fires a pass to the hands of Mike Smith. He was trying to make the kick. It was better that Kansas State had an incomplete pass rather than him catching the football. Curtis Madden in at fullback. Staggered split set here for K-State. Tight end left. Back to throw is Watson. Goes across the middle. Russ Campbell. The ball is knocked away. Flag thrown. But the flag was thrown at the line of scrimmage. As Curtis Cotton, the cornerback, knocked the ball away from Russ Campbell to force the incompletion. The flag was thrown, though, back play drive. This is the 10th play of this drive. Second down, goal to go at the Husker 19. Following the holding penalty against K-State. Watson, back to throw, looking left, has time, lofts a pass that is knocked away nicely by the free safety Tyrone Bird. K-State here, the big down and distance. Third down, goal to go at the Nebraska 19. Wildcat football brought to you by OC Meat Products. OC makes good times, taste great. Two receivers to the left, back to throw Watson. Throws across the middle, Gallon makes the catch at the 10-yard line. Now three Huskers surround him, and he moves up to the 9-yard line. It at least give Kansas State and got it to the middle by Tate Wright. He is 3 for 5 in his career from this distance. The snap is down, the kick is up by Wright. A spinning kick, which is good, and Kansas State gets points out of the drive. 11.42 left to go in the first half. Nebraska 14, K-State 10. Back with Warren Clausen's kickoff following these messages from your favorite local Wildcat station. Warren Clausen. Favorite local Wildcat station. Warren Clausen, no Tate Wright kicking off. This is a high pooch kick to the near side. Johnny Mitchell, the tight end, will take it. Chuck Culver can't tackle him, and Mitchell gets across the 30 and then finally gets hurtled to the ground by Vili Sand for the 32-yard line. And Chuck Culver is injured. Culver made two great kickoff team tackles earlier in this game, Stan. That time, though, he ran into Johnny Mitchell, 6'3", 260. The all-big Kit Rawlings is not on the trip. He was hurt last week against Kansas. First down, Nebraska. At their own 32, McCant, the senior from Grand Prairie, Texas, changing the play at the line of scrimmage. Has Derek Brown behind him. He'll get it on a handoff right side, and Brown is ankle tackled. After he gains just two yards to the 34-yard line. Evan Simpson, Simpson and a Quincy Griffith in there as their two defensive tackles. High formation this time for the Huskers. Football to their own 33-yard line. They only give him a gain of one, so second and nine for NU. 11 minutes left to go in the half. Toss right side to Derek Brown and a great one-on-one -on -one hit by William Price. And Stan, that's his seventh tackle. Price's seventh tackle. And we're early in the second quarter. Well, we talked about William Price not playing cornerback today, playing linebacker. He's lining up right on the line of scrimmage, right next to the tight end. Normally he'll line up four or five yards off, lining up right at the line of scrimmage, that time darting into the backfield and making a good tackle. Back to throw McCant. He's got a pocket set, now moves up, now throws the football. It's knocked away by C.J. Masters, the strong safety. Coming in for Greg Patterson, the intended receiver was John Bostic. And K-State fans know all about John Bostic. He has four touchdowns against K-State. Didn't throw a very accurate pass. That, along with C.J. Masters being there, forces the Nebraska Cornhuskers to punt. Mike Stiggy will punt. He had a poor punt his first time. This is a better punt. An end over end kick. Mike Smith takes it at the 25. Trying to get a block. He gets one. He's at the 35. Mike Smith is at the 40. And then gets walloped at the 41-yard line. The punt by Stiggy, 42 yards. But the return of 16 yards by Mike Smith gives K-State a good job, a first down for the Wildcats at their own 42-yard line with 10 team that can compete against some teams that no one thought they could at the start of the season, and they're proving it today. They are standing right here toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Nebraska Cornhuskers. 
Paul Watson, 108 yards passing. Leading rusher is Gallon. Five carries for 12 yards for K-State. Watson on first down, back to throw. Has protection now and loads the football. Gallon makes a catch at the Husker 38-yard line. A great throw by Watson, who had a Husker steaming right in on him. And a pass play, first down, Kansas State at the Nebraska 38-yard line. Steve Carmer made the tackle. Let's pause 10 seconds for station ID on the Wildcat Football Network. This is back with Stan Weber. 20-yard pass play. First down, Wildcats at the Husker 38. 10 minutes left to go. First half, 14 to 10, Nebraska. Draw play, Gallon. Needs some help. Moves forward. Flag on the play as Gallon gets to the 34-yard line. For a gain of four, holding penalty retreats K-State back to the 48-yard line of Nebraska. First and 20 Wildcats there. 9.50 left to go first half. Nebraska 14, K-State 10. Three receivers to the left. Tight end right, Campbell. Back to throw, Watson. Steps up in the pocket. Steps up. He'll be sacked. Back at the 48-yard line. Streaked down the left sideline, and it was a difference between a long gain and a touchdown run. Three receivers to the left. Tight end right. Single back gallon behind Watson. Blackshirt stepping up in the hole, won a blitz. Back to throw is Watson on second and 23, in trouble. Shifts to his right. Pumps, now throws the football and underthrows Eric Gallon. It was a fire drill. Nebraska Cornhurst back this season was right there in the backfield, but Paul Watson was able to get away from him, but he threw a pass into the turf and it was incomplete. Three receivers to the left, tight end right. Same formation, the last two plays. Now pass down the near side, Russ Campbell. Guy makes a catch at the 24-yard line, just yanking it away from Ernie Beeler. Beeler was in position to make the intercept stand. Campbell just reached over and yanked it away from Beeler. Strength shown by the tight end from Wichita North. First down, K-State, 27-yard pickup, but a flag thrown on the play. You can wipe it all away. A flag thrown on Kansas State. Will this be another holding call? They're going to say illegal procedure now, the penalty. And, Mitch, the Kansas State coaches are usually a calm brunch, but there are some guys swinging their arms, Bill Snyder is seven yards onto the football field trying to get the referee's attention. He have his, has his headset in his hand, and Kansas State has just seen one of the great third down conversions, a pass down to Campbell, who jumped over the defender who wasn't looking back for the football, pulled the football away right above the defender's head, fell down for a first down, and instead Kansas State is hit with another penalty, this time for five yards. Third down, 28 for Kansas State. The ball all the way back at their own 44-yard line. 8.27 left to go first half, 14 to 10. Nebraska with the lead. Back to throw Watson. Deep drop, sets up in the pocket now and loads a pass that's incomplete. Goes by the intended receiver, Eric Gallant, at the 50-yard line. And, that's, and now they're in punting formation. Sean Snyder will punt for K-State. This is not a good kick, a wobbly kick off the side of his foot, but it, now it touches on Nebraska Cornhusker Ernie Beeler, and he covers it up at the 20-yard line. Almost disaster for the Huskers. But alert play by Beeler to cover up his own fumble, and there's a timeout on the field. 8-11, left to go in the second quarter. Nebraska 14, K-State 10. Blue and check on the injury situation. Power eye formation for the Huskers. Quarterback Keith and McCant. Toss sweep, now they're going to go on the reverse to Nate Turner. Turner trying to go outside. He's in trouble. He gets tripped up back at the 15-yard line. Greg Patterson. Correction, Chris Patterson. Chris Patterson, the linebacker, made the tackle for Kansas State, smelling out the reverse all the way. A loss all the way back for the Huskers at the 15-yard line. Lost reverse. But with that athletic ability, he was able to catch Nate Turner in the backfield. Big play for the Wildcats on first down. Three receivers left, tight end right. Single back is Brown. Moving left is McCant. Wants to throw the football. The pass is intercepted by C.J. Masters at the 24 of Nebraska. The pass was tipped by Mendez, and the Huskers... Turn it over to the Wildcats on the intercept. Let's go down to Dan Ballou on the sideline. Mitch, the injury to Chuck Culver is to the outside area of his left knee. He's icing the wrap now and probably done for the day, as is Greg Patterson. And Stan, Kansas State came into the week 102 out of 106 in turnover margin after being fourth a year ago. They get the play there. Boy, Jamie Mendez, he really broke on the football. The ball was thrown to John Bostig, but Mendez was right there. When he hit the football, it bounced back. Alertly, C.J. Masters catches the football, and the Wildcats had the football to Nebraska 24. Tight end left, Russ Campbell. Pro I formation. Actually, pro split back. Now a throw left at Gallon, who makes a diving catch at the 20. Pick up a four-yard. Steve Carmer has been all over the field for Nebraska. Fifth tackle for the Huskers strong. Set. That time the ball was thrown before he saw it coming. He just turned around. It was outside. He reached out with only one hand and pulled it in. But a nice gain on first down for Kansas State. Watson, 12 of 20 passing, 132 yards. 
K-State switching the play at the line of scrimmage. You'll have to hurry to get it off. Back to throw. Watson quick out. Complete to Mike Smith. And has a K-State first down at the Husker 12-yard line. Curtis Cotton gave Smith some cushion. And the Watson to Mike Smith duo teams up for a first down for K-State at the Nebraska 11-yard line. 6.30. Picks up a first down on a very efficient outside throw. Tied in left Russ Campbell. Benton now shifts to a flanker left. Single back is Gallon on first down. Back to throw Watson. Pump faking. Now moving away from the Husker rush. Moving right now. Throws for the end zone. Pass caught. Touchdown K-State. Mike Smith again. It was Watson to Smith for the touchdown. Second time in a football game. K-State regains the lead 16-14. What a great job by Paul Watson again. He got flushed out of the pocket, but he just moved to his right, looked downfield. Michael Smith was in the right corner of the end zone. When he saw Washington, Watson flushed out, he moved back toward the back of the end zone, back toward the left side, found an opening there. Watson delivered the football, and Kansas State leads the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Pass play will go for 11 yards. And it was similar to the first touchdown pass where Watson had to scramble, and he found Mike Smith again on the secondary route. He did on the first touchdown and now does on the second touchdown. The kick by Tate Wright is up. It's right there, and K-State's got the lead for the second time in the game. 6.27 left to go second quarter. Kansas State 17, Nebraska 14, back with a purple kickoff after these messages in the Wildcat football from your favorite local Wildcat station. Kansas State, after the interception by C.J. Masters, goes 24 yards in three plays. Paul Watson. 11-yard touchdown pass to Mike Smith. It is 17-14 K-State. Tyrone Hughes takes it at the 20. Angling to the 25, to the 30, explodes to the 40-yard line, 45-50. Tate Wright trying to run him down, and he pushes him out of bounds at the 35-yard line of Kansas State. Last year, it was Tyrone Hughes to be a difference in the ball game in Manhattan. An NCAA record, 247 yards in kickoff returns. A 99-yard kick. Tyrone Hughes did at the 20 on the left side of the field, worked his way up the middle and back to the left all the way down to the Kansas State 35-yard line. 6.20 left to go in the half. Handoff, Derek Brown. He gets hit by Brooks Barta. Correction, Chris Patterson. Hits him right away. Brown does fall forward to the 34-yard line for a gain of one. Brown, 14 carries, 84 yards. K-State at the Kansas State 34-yard line. Steve Moten now in at right tackle out of Topeka Seaman. Evan Simpson, the nose guard. Left tackle, Quincy Griffith. Elijah Alexander, defensive end. They'll option to the right side. McCant will keep the football. He's up across the 30, 25, and goes down at the 22-yard line. They'll mark him down at the 23, a gain of 11. Probably one of the best defense option plays we've seen in the last two weeks, but no, McCant was able to stick out his arm, get away from Elijah Alexander, and go all the way down to the 22-yard line. Slot eye formation, handoff Lance Lewis. The fullback. And he gets to the 20-yard line for a gain of two before being pushed back. Many guys, Brent Venables, Brooks Barta, Joe Boone, Chris Patterson, Laird Veach, all playing those three linebacker positions. Stan, they combined for 46 tackles in the Kansas game. Handoff Brown right side's got some great blocking. Trying to angle outside, gets to the 15-yard line. It was designed to be between the guard and tackle, and he got all the way out near the right sideline. And gets to the Nebraska 14. Wide to the left, John Bostic. Tight and right is William Washington. Power eye formation in motion. Abdul Muhammad, the power back. Toss sweep right side, Brown. He gets hit and driven down for a loss of one. Brent Venables and Evan Simpson knock down Derek Brown on a third down and three play for a loss of one. Nebraska will try a field goal and tie the game with 3.57 left to go in the second quarter. 17-14 K-State. Venables made big plays last week, and here Kansas State's backs to the wall after a great kickoff return, and they make the big play again, not allowing Nebraska to get inside of their 15-yard line. A nice play, and the Cornhuskers are going to have to try a field goal. This would be a 33-yard attempt. Bennett is 3 of 5. Byron Bennett, 3 of 5 from this distance. He has struggled this year. He's only 1 of 5 at Arizona State. Bennett's kick, a high kick right to left. It's good, and the game's tied as Bennett. Ties it up with a 33-yard field goal at 3.29 left to go in the half. Stan, let's stay right here with the game tied at 17-17. Well, Mitch, we've really seen an effort given by the Kansas State Wildcats. State admitted 17-14. And now Bennett will kick off for Nebraska. Bennett with the kick away. This is a nice line drive kick that backs up Coleman nine yards deep in the end zone. He'll go to a knee. 
And K-State will be four halftime to go up 10 to 2. Here, Kansas State's not only thinking score, they're thinking possession times and no mistakes. They want to go in at halftime no worse than tied 17 to 17. Doug Warren now in at right guard. Now I come on the reverse play to Mike Smith. Smith's at the 20, Smith's at the 25. Across the 30 and up to the 31-yard line. A different kind of reverse than they ran earlier to Andre Coleman. And Coleman had the long run on the reverse play for 22 yards. That time was like an inside reverse. But this time Mike Smith got it, and K-State gets a first down on an 11-yard gain. When Michael Smith is able to run the football, and Kansas State picks up a nice gain on first down. Wildcats first and 10, football of their own 32-yard line, three minutes left in the half, handoff Gallon On a straight dive play, and he gets pushed back. No gain on the play. Kevin Reventine, 17 tie. Nebraska was a 35-point favorite in the game. Wide to the left side, Andre Coleman. Split in right is Hernandez. Watson changing the play at the line of scrimmage. Goes to a staggered split set on second and nine. They'll option left side. Pitch goes back to Gallon. Needs one block. He angles across the 35 and gets up to the 37-yard line for a gain of four. New look given by Kansas State on the straight option play. Tackled by Tyrone Bird, the free safety, the leading tackler on the Nebraska team. Kansas State first half. Triplet set to the right side. Benton, Hernandez, Smith all to the right. Madden alone setback. Tight in left is Campbell. Back to throw is Watson being rushed now and loads the football and throws it incomplete. Almost intercepted. Travis Hill was covering the play. It'll go as an incompletion. An alert play by Watson to avoid a sack. Stops the clock at 134. In Lawrence, Kansas, 17, Iowa State, nothing. Later, a later start will be Oklahoma and Colorado. Sean Snyder on to punt. Gets a booming punt away, a spiraling kick that backs up the Husker returner to the 10-yard line. He's at the 15-20. Across the 25, across the 30s, in the open field, now tripped up at the 40-yard line. A return by the Husker punt guy, and a flag thrown back at the 21-yard line. A 48-yard punt, but a flag. Half. Corey Dixon was the man who returned the kick for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. He wears number one. That, of course, was the number reserved for Mike Grant, the quarterback who's redshirting this year for Nebraska. But all of that return is going to be brought back with a penalty against the Huskers. 121 left to go in the first half. K-State 17, Nebraska 17. Clip against the Huskers. It'll move the ball stand back to the 8-yard line for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Wide to the near side, Tyrone Hughes. John Bostic, a very dangerous receiver, wide to the right. In the slot right is Vincent Hawkins. The quarterback, Keithan McCant, he can throw it. He threw for 231 yards and three touchdowns. Last week against Oklahoma State was 17 of 19. Against the Cowboys, they hand it off up the middle, though, to Derek Brown, and Brown sheds a tackler, Tony Williams. But Williams is tackled. Williams thrust was enough to bring him down as he moves forward to the 12-yard line. Williams did a good job of getting into the backfield. Kansas State is watching for the pass. They don't want to get beat deep, but Nebraska is such an effective running team. If you don't watch the running plays, they're able to run even from this situation. And in fact, it's probably a safer play for Nebraska to run the football more effective than passing. Now McCant will throw. He's going to throw long, looking for John Bostic and overthrows his intended receiver, Bostic. William T. Price on the coverage for Kansas State. Clock stopped at 48 seconds. And now the Husk, as it is, very good. They could get a score here before halftime. Split in right, flanker left, eye formation. Third down and six. They hand it off to Brown, who gets hit. Falls forward as close to a first down as he gets up to the 17-yard line. Clock moving at 39 seconds. K-State, two timeouts left. He's short of a first down. And Kansas State will call timeout to Stimes. Tate Wright, 26-yard field goal that ended the 69-yard drive. Then following an interception by C.J. Masters, Paul Watson hit Mike Smith with an 11-yard pass play to make it 17-14 Kansas State. And Nebraska just got a 33-yard field goal from Byron Bennett to tie the game at 17. 36 seconds left to go in the first half. Nebraska fourth down and a yard to go. Football at their own 17. Mike Stiggy on the field for NU. Well, we talk about the Kansas State defense, and we haven't talked about them enough in the last two weeks. They're going out and stopping Nebraska, forcing the punt. You talk about that strategy, but you've got to make the plays, and Kansas State's defense did. Now Nebraska's going to be punting the football back with, to the Wildcats with 30 se seconds left. Ten men on the line of scrimmage. K-State blocked one of Stiggy's punts a year ago, but he gets this one away. 
Mike Smith takes it on the fly and has five Huskers surrounding him, and Mike goes down at the 50-yard line. Tim Young hunt for the first two weeks of the season against Utah State or Colorado State. Stiggy on this day has three punts, 31, 42, 38. Now K-State's got 26 seconds left in the half. They've got the ball at midfield. 17-17 tie. And don't expect Bill Snyder to run it out here. He'll try to get at least in field goal range. Back to throw is Watson. Now he's in trouble. He'll be sacked and fumbles the football. Doug Grush has to cover it up for K-State. Back at the 37-yard line. Jamie Lever will move out. Or will they get one more playoff here? No, they won't. Bill Snyder says let's go in and talk about it. But Kansas State will go in at halftime with the game tied. We have halftime in Lincoln, Nebraska. Here is your score at halftime. Kansas State, 17. Nebraska, 17 at half. Our halftime will begin after this two-minute timeout on this, the Wildcat Football Network. Michigan leading Indiana 24 to 16 in the fourth quarter. Alabama beat Tennessee in a Southeastern Conference battle 24 to 19 earlier today. Penn State 21, Rutgers 14. Ohio State, that's a halftime score to Penn State score. Ohio State 34, Northwestern 3. In the Big Eight in the second quarter, the Kansas Jayhawks lead Iowa State 17 to 0. In the second quarter, Missouri leads Oklahoma State 21 to 7. Nebraska kicks off to start the third quarter of play, Stan. K-State deferred his choice to start the second half. Andre Coleman takes the kick three yards deep in the end zone. Wisely elects to go to a knee. And K-State will have the Wildcats to start the second half. Let's see if they've changed on the offensive line. Dave Galois the right tackle. Eric Wolford, the right guard. Quentin Newyear, the center. Toby Lawrence, the left guard. Doug Grush, the left tackle. So there's the same starting offensive line that started the game. Russ Campbell at tight end. Eric Gallon at running back. Smith and Hernandez, the receivers. And Paul Watson, the quarterback. 78,000 folks are nervous in Lincoln, Nebraska. Roaring on the first play of the third quarter. Play fake by Watson. Wants to throw near side. Now he's in trouble and he's going to be gets back for plus yardage. He almost was sacked and Paul Watson squirts through the Nebraska defender Travis Hill and moves forward for two yards to pick up two plus yards but it could have been a loss of seven up to their expectations. They're trying to help the team make something to happen. They start the second half standing up and roaring. Three receivers to the left side. Tight end right is Campbell. Play fake by Watson. He's in trouble being chased. Watson moving right. Still in trouble. Now throws the football. That is incomplete. It's intercepted out of bounds, actually, by Travis Hill. Nice job by Watson again to avoid being sacked. Defensive lineman who feels like he's right there to have the sack, but Paul Watson did a good job of throwing the football away, but it's a big third down for the Wildcats. Third down and eight for the K-Staters specifically. Football at their own 22. 17-17 tie. First drive of the second half for either team. Back to throw. Watson blitzing his Nebraska. Now the pass over left side to Gallon. Gallon dangling to the 30. He's at the 35-40. He's at the 45. Great play by Watson. Gallon was in the area vacated by the rush by Nebraska. And K-State's got a first down with a long play to the Nebraska 47-yard line. A gain of 24 on third and eight. What a play by Watson to find Eric Gallon the left flat. Great play by Watson. Great play by Gallon. But what a play call. Nebraska sent a blitz. They had two, and he had open field in front of him. He took it out to the 47-yard line. First down, Wildcats at their own 47. Watson, handoff to Gallon up the middle. He'll get short yardage and gain just a yard to the 48. Ed Stewart with him. I think it was a design play for Gallon to say, you know, they're going to send these guys. Just act like you're going to going to block, step up and catch the football. We'll pick up the first downing on a delay pattern. Second and eight, Watson in trouble. He's sacked back at the 45-yard line. K-State want to run the play-action bootleg, and they ran it right into defensive end David White. Lately, enforcing Watson either throw the football away or take a sack. Two receivers left, two right, single back gallon. Third and 12 for K-State. Back to throw Watson. Un throwing it long for Mike Smith, who's open. He makes a catch at the 25-yard line. Diving catch. What a throw by Watson. He had a man right on him as he threw the football. Mike Anderson, the weak side linebacker, dove at him. Watson threw the football long for a gain of 30 yards to Mike Smith at the Husker 25-yard line. We talked about the Huskers gambling and how they can be burnt. There, it was obviously man-to-man -man coverage. So although Watson had players in his face way before Michael Smith should have caught the football, he knew because of man-to-man -man coverage, there's no free safety back there. He threw the ball up for grabs in the middle of the field. Not up for grabs meaning that someone, anyone could catch it. He knew Michael Smith would get there sooner or later. He threw the ball way before Michael Smith cut. Michael Smith makes a catch at the 25-yard line. Another big third down play for Kansas State. Huge third down play plays. 
Two backs from the formation. Back to throw Watson across the middle. The pass is tipped and almost intercepted. Tyrone Bird tipped it. Away from the intended receiver, Eric Gallon. Mike Petko, the strong side linebacker. Actually disgruntled, and Nebraska coaches were very scared because they had a defensive back fall down, and Michael Smith, although he made a great catch, almost had a chance for a touchdown. That's what we're seeing here is Kansas State's offense is on the verge of scoring on all the plays, and they're getting first downs even though they don't score. Back to throw Watson, this time with protection. Now it breaks down quickly, and he gets sacked back at the 32-yard line. Pat Engelbert, the outstanding nose guard out of Columbus, Nebraska the first down yardage. They want to pick up some yardage to put themselves in field goal range. They're right on the verge. It would be a 49-yard field goal. That's not one that they want to try. So look for Kansas State to get some type of possession pass and gain at least some yardage. And Nebraska looking to blitz. Now they'll drop seven men. Back to throw Watson in trouble. He'll be sacked back at the 45-yard line. And they're going to say he was down on the sack. Travis Hill came in to sack Paul Watson. Fourth down for Kansas State. Now they're out of field goal range. They'll have to punt and Watson gets up. They had the short receivers there. Paul didn't think they were open and was looking downfield. Kansas State takes a sack. Travis Hill, good play for the Cornhuskers. Now the Wildcats will have to punt. Sean Snyder takes the low snap, gets the kick away. A high angling left to right kick that's taken by the punt returner John Bostic. He makes a fair catch at the 18-yard line. The punt by Snyder, just people at State Farm Insurance for all of your insurance needs. Auto Home Life and Health, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Eye formation for Keith and McCant. McCant has one receiver away from the formation with double tight ends. Hand off up the middle to Derek Brown. Brown gets across the 20 and ankle tackle as he gets to the 25-yard line for a gain of seven. Coming into this ball game, running the football. He leads the Big 8 Conference after Tony Sands couldn't run against K-State last week. Second down, three for the Huskers. Football at the 25 of their own. Handoff, delayed handoff to Brown. Trying to angle outside, breaks two tackles across the 35. Browns at the 37-yard line. Gain of 12. Leading tacklers for K-State. You don't see Nebraska do very well, but Derek Brown is so good at finding a hole. That time starting to the right, cutting back to the left. He has a great ability to do that, so they're able to run without the fullback. Now they're going to come to Abdul Muhammad on a fake reverse, wanting to throw his McCant, throwing for Bostic downfield, and the pass is incomplete, overthrowing Bostic at the 25-yard line. A new wrinkle on the Nebraska offense. They play fake on a sweep play, then they fake a reverse to the motion back coming back, and they try to throw long to Bostic. Not a good throw by McCant. Mendez inside to Brown. Then Abdul Muhammad went around to the left side. They faked to him. Finally, McCant looked downfield, but he overthrew his receiver, John Bostic. Wing right, Vincent Hawkins on second and ten. They give it off to the fullback, Lance Lewis, and they stand up the fullback. And knock him down. It's a ball taken away by C.J. Masters. Is it a live football? It is. Touchdown. Is it a live ball? They yanked it away. Touchdown, K-State. They had Lance Lewis stood up, and C.J. Masters simply just came in and ripped it away. Touchdown, Kansas State, on a fumble recovery by Masters, who just took it away from Lance Lewis. Well, he stole the football there in the middle of the line of scrimmage. It's just a handoff off the right guard. Lance Lewis was met there after gaining two or three yards. He was fighting for extra yardage. C.J. Masters alertly came up. He saw that Lewis was going to be tackled by his other defenders, just like the pros teach their players. If you're the third or fourth guy there, go for the football. He's going to go down. C.J. Masters stole it. Nebraska players didn't even recognize it until he's already passed him out on the 20-yard line. And basically a 35-yard fumble return by C.J. Masters puts Kansas State ahead. Joe Boone made the tackle to stand him up. Tate Wright's extra point is good, and Kansas State's got a 24-17 lead on a strange play by the Wildcats, and a great play by the Wildcats, a great play by C.J. Masters to yank the ball away from Lance Lewis. The cat kick awaits you. 24-17, K-State 9-15 in the third after this timeout from your favorite local Wildcat. This timeout from your favorite local Wildcat. C.J. Masters just took the ball away from Lance Lewis, the Nebraska fullback, after Joe Boone had stood him up. They're going to give him officially a 40-yard return for a K-State touchdown with a fumble recovery. But it wasn't your basic fumble. He just took it away from Lance Lewis. And K-State leads Nebraska 24-17. 9.15 left to go in the third quarter. And Tate Wright will kick off, the short kickoff man for the Wildcats. So K-State is not anxious to kick this to Tyrone Hughes, who last year had a 99-yard kickoff return for a touchdown. Last year, they kick it on the ground. It's picked up at the 35. Now going to a knee was Vincent Hawkins, the up man, who took the ball on a knee on the bounce. 
And it goes down to the 33-yard line. Let's pause. Ten seconds for station ID on the Wildcat Network. Mitch Hiltis along with Stan Weber, Kurt Nuss, Jeff Grantham, Carla Van Nostrand, Dan Ballou. Down on the sidelines, Lynn Parker, our game site producer and engineer. First down, Nebraska. Football at their own 33. K-State leading Nebraska 24-17. Power eye formation. McCant gives it off to Brown. He's across the 35. Runs real hard across the 40 to the 41-yard line. Gain of eight. William Price, another tackle for Kansas State for Price. Nine tackles for the cornerback from Akron, Ohio. Seven points. The offense is back on the field there and double tight end. They want to pound the football at the Wildcats. Brown, 21 carries, 124 yards. McCant this time with a long count. Has an eye formation behind him. Lead play to the tailback, Brown. And he squirts across. And they put him right down at the 45. It's a Husker first down on a second and two play. And he picks up four yards to the 45. Thousand dollars. Somebody always winning from the Kansas lottery. First down play for the Huskers. McCant wants to throw. Pass near side complete to Bostic. He makes a catch. Nice reverse move. And down to the 42-yard line of Kansas State. Roger Green made the tackle for the Wildcats. But Keith and McCant that time, he's tried to throw long earlier. He's not hit his receivers. He's over. You'll see Kansas State throw, but they throw it on the run, so their quarterback's on the move. Keith and McCant, the type of athlete that can throw on the run, a very accurate pass there for a first down. Double tight ends, Washington and Mitchell. Hand off Brown, 35, and then goes down. Correction at the 39-yard line. Laird Beach, the sophomore from Manhattan, right there to knock down Brown, who was looking to reverse his field. Another clear to make the tackle. Second down for Nebraska. They pick up three yards on the run. 7.33 left to go third quarter. 24-17 K-State. Second and seven Huskers. Play fake by McCant. Wants to throw the football. Unloads the pass. He's got Bostic open at the 20-yard line. Bostic is roped out of bounds at the 13-yard line of Kansas State. They mark him out at the 14. Good throw by third quarter. 24-17 Kansas State leading Nebraska. The ninth-ranked Huskers in the AP poll. Eighth in the UPI poll. Handoff. Goes to Calvin Jones on a crossbuck play. He gets to the 10 and knocked down there after a gain of four yards. Guess who got him? William Price. Their defensive backs today, especially William Price, you're going to have to play the running game strong. And there he did, fighting off a blocker and getting back and helping with an assist on a tackle. Second down, seven for the Huskers. Football to the Wildcat 11-yard line. They give it off to the fullback on the trap play. That's Lance Lewis. The Scott City Jr. And he gets down to the Kansas State six-yard line. I would bet that Tom Osborne is going to say, this is two down territory. We're going to go twice if we don't make it here on third down. Jim Scott in its center now. Backup center for Nebraska. Handoff to Calvin Jones. And Jones trying to push forward on a third down and two play from the six. And he is near a first down. It may be close enough to measure. Calvin Jones, redshirt ever scored here in Lincoln by a K-State team. It is a first down, Nebraska. First down and goal to go at the four. Chris Zizda also in now at a guard position for Nebraska. So at least three of those offensive linemen are two Number twos for Nebraska. Nebraska will switch, and here they switch their eye back. You might say, boy, they have a lot of confidence in this young back, Calvin Jones, the redshirt freshman. That's true, but he's also the bigger back. He weighs 205 pounds. Derek Brown weighs 180. When they near the goal line like this, they want the bigger back, Calvin Jones, in a ball game, and therefore he is. First down goal to go with the Huskers at the four-yard line. McCant long count. Play fake. McCant wants to throw the football, throws for the end zone. The pass is caught. Touchdown, Nebraska. Outstanding throw, but a great catch by the tight end. It was Jimmy Mitchell, Johnny Mitchell, the all-Big 8 tight end, who now has 11 career touchdown catches in 24 career overall catches. They call him Mr. Touchdown in Lincoln, and he brings the Huskers back within a point. Johnny Mitchell definitely is a touchdown maker. Last season, seven touchdowns. He was all-Big 8 as a freshman. And here he catches the football on a bootleg pass. He lined up on the left side as a tight end, worked his way across the formation, deep in the end zone, makes a diving catch, and with the extra point, Nebraska's going to tie this football game. Bennett's got the extra point. Nebraska ties the game at 540, left to go third quarter. Kansas State 24, Nebraska 24. Now let's pause for this important timeout. This is Big 8 football on the Wildcat Football Network. Nebraska answers K-State touchdown with one of its own. 67-yard, nine-play drive. The kick by Bennett will be taken by Gerald Benton at the one-yard line. Frank Angle outside is at the 10-15. Benton and gets hit hard at the 20-yard line. Tyrone Bird made a hard hit on little Gerald Benton. Watson 
16 of 28, 205 yards passing. Four straight weeks, over 200 yards passing. First time since Lynn Dickey in 1970. One back in the formation. Back to throw Dawson. Or Dawson fires a pass near side, complete to Mike Smith, who makes the catch at the 30-yard line. Watson makes the throw. The catch made by Mike Smith for a first down. Tyrone Leggett made the stop for Nebraska. There's a nice in this half. They had a nine-play drive, a very good drive, and only a Watson sack on the third down play, forcing Kansas State to punt, stop them from getting a field goal try. Third quarter. Wide to the right, Mike Smith. Split in left is Frank Hernandez. Tied in right, Russ Campbell. High formation behind Paul Watson. He barks at a long count. They're going to go on the draw play to Gallon. He's at the 30-yard line. Gallon's at the 40. He explodes across the 45. He's up to the 50. Eric Gallon simply exploded into the Nebraska secondary for a 19-yard gain on the draw. What nice run player for the Wildcats. Madden escorted off the field. K-State will go with a single back formation. That's K-State's answer to no fullbacks, and it has been all year. Take the fullback out and go double tight ends. They'll actually have three receivers in there with one tight end this time. Russ Campbell tied in left. First down Wildcats at the 49 in Nebraska. Quarterback draw by Paul Watson. Watson down to across the 45 to the 44 of Nebraska. And give Watson a gain of five. Travis Hill made the stop for the Husker black shirt defense along with Mike Petko. Run a quarterback draw and have another big back lead to play. And that time they did with Eric Gallen doing the blocking. Big old Quentin New Year from Surprise, Nebraska. Again, only about a 40 minutes from here. Snaps the football to Paul Watson. K-State on second and five, throws a pass complete at the 35 of Nebraska for a purple first down. Andre Coleman this time made the catch for Kansas State. That throw to the far hash mark is Watson's 18th completion of the day. And give him, he left the receiver Andre Coleman come open on the outside in a curl route because he was holding tight to Russ Campbell in the middle. He's had Russ catch the football over the middle a few times. He's got to watch Russ Campbell in the middle, allowing Andre Coleman to open up on the outside curl, and Paul Watson read the defense perfectly and threw it in there. Curtis Madden back into the K-State lineup. Eric Gallon gets the call here. He gets thrown for a loss on first and 10 from the Nahusker 35 back to the 37 for a loss of two. David White. Near that field goal range again. A few times a day they've been kept away from there. Nebraska's defense has made the big plays that they have made today right in this area about the 40 into the 25-yard line, and Kansas State is now at the 37 with a second and long. And K-State calls timeout on second and 12. The timeout taken at 2.57 left to go third quarter. K-State and Nebraska tied at 24. Now let's hear these important messages from your favorite local Wildcat station. Anthem, Lynn Parker, Dan Ballou, Memorial Stadium, Lincoln, Nebraska. 2.57 left to go third quarter. 24-24 tie, K-State and the Huskers. Second and 12 Wildcats at the Nebraska 37. Kansas State out of the timeout. Switching a play, five seconds on the play clock. Back to throw, Watson, two-step drop. Fires a pass near side, dropped by Michael Smith at the 31-yard line. Tyrone Bird was ground. Doesn't happen often, but Michael Smith just dropped the football. Big news. Two receivers to the right, flanker left. Third down 12 for K-State at the Husker 37. Watson this time on a deep five-step drop. He's going to rifle it long down the near sideline. Complete to Smith. He's out of bounds at the Husker 4. Out of bounds at the Husker 4. 33-yard pass play. What a throw by Watson. Catching Smith right in stride. And Mike Smith makes up for the drop with a catch at the Husker 4. First and goal, Kansas State. Coleman and Bird covered for NU. They call it a wheel route. The outside receiver, Andre Coleman, takes a post pattern and takes the defensive players with him as Michael Smith looks like he's going to run out. No, he turns up the sideline, up the right sideline. Coleman pulled the defensive players away. Paul Watson threw the ball up early, high, and accurately down inside the 10-yard line. Michael Smith makes the catch and takes it down to the four. That's one of Paul Watson's best ever throws. Watson will keep trying to follow his fullback. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, K-State. Four-yard run by Watson on first and goal. K-State leads 30 to 24. On an option play, Paul Watson slowly moves around the right end. Looks like he's going to be stopped at the line of scrimmage. But no, he keeps pushing forward. Finally dives to his left over the goal line. Kansas State is back in the lead, 30 to 24. And this is the most points K-State has ever scored on a Nebraska football team. 
We'll have Jeff Grantham double check it, but I believe it's the most points ever scored on a Nebraska team by K-State. 242 left to go in the third quarter. Tate Wright will try the point after. There's the snap. There's the kick. It's up. It's good. Kansas State leads 31 to 24. 242 left to go in the third quarter. Back with a Wildcat kickoff following these messages from your favorite local Wildcat station. In the third quarter, Kansas State goes 80 yards. 80 yards in eight plays. Paul Watson on a four-yard run, 31-24. Tyrone Hughes will take this ball, dribbling to him at the 15-yard line. He sheds one tackler, trying to get outside. He's across the 30-yard line and up to the 33. K-State came down the field swarming after Tyrone Hughes. He athletically avoided four Wildcats, including Blair, Nebraska, walk-on Mike Eckler. But he State seven in the third quarter. Nebraska, slot eye formation, tight end left. Quarterback, Keithan McCant. He will option to the right side. He will pitch, gives it back to Calvin Jones. He's at the 40. Jones is shoved out of bounds by Jamie Mendez at the 45-yard line. Gain of 12, but a nice play by Mendez to save a touchdown stand to get to force Calvin Jones out of bounds. A lot of yardage. They didn't allow McCants just to run around the corner. They're getting out there into his face, forcing him to pat, pitch the football. McCant has a single back Jones this time with two tight ends and two wide receivers. Play fake by McCant. Moves to his right. Moves to his right. Wants to throw. Now he's in trouble. He eludes. Killian throws the football incomplete on the far sideline. Barta was in coverage along with William Price, Jamie Mendez. Giving chase was Jody Killian who had a chance. Staying with the receivers and Keith and McCant had to throw the football out of bounds. Second down, 10 Huskers. Football at their own 46. K-State leading 31-24. Play fake again. Rolling left is McCant. He'll run. He's at the 45. And C.J. Masters tackles him, but he falls forward to the 48 of Kansas State. McCant wanted to throw the ball, but he had the option to run. Use that. Chris Patterson also helped out on the tackle. Comes for Nebraska. Bostic split in left. Flanker right is Hawkins. I formation for McCant with a tight end right. Handoff. Lead play goes to Calvin Jones. Flag on the play as Jones gets across the 45 and up to the 44-yard line. Elijah Alexander and Joe Boone team up to make the stop for K-State. But a flag thrown. Let's see what the call is here. Holding against Nebraska. Kansas State was guilty of holding four times in the first half. Nebraska gets the flag here as Brooks Barta, K-State's defensive captain, talks about his choices. Thomas Randolph comes into the game and play a nickel back situation here. Wide to the right, Abdul Muhammad. Flanker left, Tyrone Hughes. I formation as McCant on third down and 14 changes the play at the line of scrimmage. He rolls to his right. He pumps now being rushed. Eludes one would-be tackler now. Cuts up field. He's at the 45. He's at the 50. And Elijah Alexander bumps him out of bounds short of a first down on the far sideline. And Nebraska will have fourth down here. What a great play by the Kansas State defense, though. They stepped up. Roger Green, who is playing, Nebraska had a play call they didn't want to use against the Blitz. McCant made a good scramble, but still, Kansas State makes the play, and Nebraska will have to punt again. Fourth down, five Huskers. Football at the 49 at K-State. Mike Stiggy back to punt. The walk-on from Washington, Kansas. High punt taken away by Mike Smith. He's at the 15. He's at the 20 and is hurdled there with a big stop at the 25-yard line. Andre McDuffie made the hit for Nebraska defensively. Now K-State has the ball with the lead. One big possession here is Stan Weber. Split in right, Frank Hernandez. Flanker left, Michael Smith. Split backs this time, Madden and Gallon behind Watson. Deep drop, seven-step drop. Looking left, throws complete to Mike Smith. He's hit and dropped at the 29-yard line. Again, let's call it a short eight on the play. They'll mark the football down at the, well, I give him forward motion. They're going to place the football at the 30. Call it second and two, Wildcats. At their own here right in a row. They're having tight end Russ Campbell go and circle over the middle and stop. They're throwing off a of Mike Petco, the linebacker, because Michael Smith runs a curl to the outside. They just read Petco. If he goes to the tight end, they throw to the outside. That's what he's been doing, so they throw to Smith. Draw play on second and two. Gallon trying to fight back to the line of scrimmage, and that's all he got. No gain. Mike Petco was right there. Last play of the third quarter. Buckle your seatbelts. Hang on 
to your seat. We are going to the fourth quarter, and here's your score as we go to the fourth. Kansas State, 31. Nebraska, 24. 15 minutes left in the game. It'll come your way after this time out on the Wildcat Football Network. Third down and one play, Paul Watson lunging forward and is near a first down. Near a first down on third and one from his own 31. They'll bring out the chains and measure. If you've joined us late, Kansas State, a 35-point underdog, is leading ne Nebraska 31 to 24. It is a first down, Kansas State. They place the football to the 32-yard line. We are just underway in the fourth quarter. K-State has scored more points on this afternoon against Nebraska than at any time in school history. The Wildcats were tied with Nebraska 17-17 at halftime. Now K-State leads 31-24. Single back is Gallon. Two receivers to the left. Watson on first down from his own 32. Calls out a play at the line of scrimmage. Six seconds left to go on the play clock. Back to throw is Watson. Sets up in a pocket, throws near side. A pass is caught by Hernandez and goes down at the 40. Frank Hernandez makes the catch for an eight-yard gain. Steve Carmer made the stop. It's Hernandez's second catch of the ball game for 14 yards. What a great throw by Paul Watson, too. He was over near the right hash, deep in the pocket. He had to throw the football 20 yards downfield and about 30 yards across field for what is a short gain of eight yards. The quarterback had to make a very long throw. Hernandez hooked up over there, caught the football, and Kansas State continues to make good plays on first down to set them up in second and short. Colorado leads Oklahoma 20-7 to in the second quarter. Here, K-State leads Nebraska 31-24. Second down, two, flag thrown. Illegal procedure, Doug Grush, the right tackle, the senior from Sacramento. Kansas State has a penalty, puts him in a second and seven instead of a second and two situation. Kansas 34, Iowa State nothing in the fourth quarter in Lawrence. Here it's K-State 31, Nebraska 24, 13-37 left to go in the game. Second and seven Wildcats at their own 35, back to throw Watson, lofting a pass down the near sideline through the hands of Gerald Benton. The little wide receiver covering was Tyrone Bird, the free safety. It was a tough play for Benton. Benton could have caught the football if he was able to pull it in. He wasn't, but the penalty now puts Kansas State in a situation where they're going to be in third and seven instead of third and short. Single back is Gallon. Two receivers to the right, third and seven. Back to throw Watson. He's got some time. Steps up into the pocket. He'll scramble. 35, 40. He's got the first down, 45. Watson angling. Stiff arms a man and goes out of bounds all the way down to the Nebraska 44-yard line. Paul Watson can run, and he picks up a 21-yard run on a scramble. Tyrone Leggett. Made the tackle, but Watson, who has been, we've mentioned fluid throwing the football, but I don't know what's better, has been his mobility or his, also his throwing today or his ability to run. Well, his mobility in the pocket, Mitch, when he wasn't even going to run has been absolutely fantastic, but he's had two great runs. One time, a 19-yard run on the third possession of the ball game down to the four. Here on third down and seven yards, he takes the ball up the middle, then over to the right sideline. Michael Smith makes a block on Petco, the linebacker, giving Watson even more yardage. And now, Kansas State's again in Nebraska territory. First down at the Husker 45, a flag thrown. Or there was not a flag thrown, maybe a timeout. Mitch Holt is back along with Stan Weber, Carla Van Noster, and Kurt Nuss, our senior statistician. Jeff Grantham, Dan Ballou down on the sideline. Lynn Parker, our game site producer and engineer. 13-17 left in the game. K-State 31, Nebraska 24. First down for K-State at the Husker 45. Back to throw Watson. Five-step drop. He's got a little bit of time. Throws near side. The pass is incomplete, almost intercepted. Mike Smith went high to try to make one of his miracle catches. He couldn't handle it. And then the defender, Kenny Wilhite, was in the pass. Kansas State in the second half has 12 runs. 12 passes. Going into this game, Kansas State 
has 52 rushing first downs, 49 passing first downs. That's exactly the type of offense Kansas State wants to run. Three receivers to the left, tight end right. It's Al Jones this time. Gal on the lone setback. Back to throw is Watson. Deep drop this time. Fires across the middle, complete to Hernandez, who's hit immediately at the 40-yard line. Gain of five for K-State. It'll be third and five for the Wildcats. Let's pause 10 seconds for station ID on the Wildcat football network. Nebraska, 24, 12.38 left to go in the game. Third down, six Wildcats at the 41 of Nebraska. Twin said left. There's a receiver to the right. Tight end right is Al Jones. Play clock at three seconds for K-State here. Wildcats snap it quickly. Back to throw Watson. He's in trouble. He'll be trying to get away from a sack. And now tries to throw the football to Al Jones. They're going to rule it an incompleted forward pass. Watson avoids a sack back at midfield. They were trying to drag him down and couldn't. So Watson just threw it off the leg of Al Jones for an incompletion, but there's a flag thrown at the line of scrimmage. This may be holding against K-State on a third and five play. Hang on, though. No indication given yet. Illegal procedure against K-State. And now K getting away and throwing the football. Legal procedure against K-State decline. Here's some scores of interest around the country. First of all, in the Big 8, Oklahoma State being blasted by a team at halftime. Washington and California tied 7-7 in the first quarter. 28-0 Florida over Northern Illinois in the third quarter. K-State's going to go for it here. 12-17 left to go in the game. K-State's going to go for it on fourth down. They may take. This may be a situation where they try to draw Nebraska off. And now Paul Watson is requesting that he cannot hear to call the play. Stan, a couple things could happen here. One, K-State might legitimately go for it, but we also see at this part of the... So Kansas State is still faced with that fourth and almost six yards. A crowd of just over 76,000 seeing their Nebraska Cornhuskers be hit for 31 points by K-State. It's Kansas State 31, Nebraska 24, 12-17 left to go in the game, and now K-State will run its punt team on the field. So Kansas State had one thing in mind, to try to draw Nebraska off and give Sean Snyder more room to punt. Now, line of scrimmage is the Nebraska 41. Snyder stands back at his own 45 to punt this with 12-17 left in the game. Good chest-high snap. Snyder's high kick. Calling for a fair catch as Bostic vacates the area. It goes into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20-yard line. First and 10 for the Huskers there, who has 131 yards on 23 carries is not in the game right now. They have got Calvin Jones into the contest, in the contest, behind McCant. Jones gets the carry, breaks two tackles, but does fall forward to the 24-yard line. They'll mark him down with a knee down at the 23. Tony Williams makes the stop, and the stadium buzzing, asking probably where Derek Brown is, but there's a flag down on the far sideline. There's a tussle over there between Roger e. Green of the Kansas State Wildcats and Nate Turner of the Nebraska Cornhuskers. And the referees threw a flag. It was way away from the play on the left sideline, right in front of Tom Osborne. Personal foul against Nebraska. So the guilty party was the Husker, Nate Turner. And they move it. Turner's down there fighting with Roger e. Green, and it cost Nebraska a penalty. First down, well, I mark it second down 17, so that was important. It was after the play, dead ball foul, so the play still stood. Second down, McCant wants to throw the football. He's being rushed. He'll tuck the football and goes out of bounds as they mark him out at the 22-yard line. He picks up nine yards on the scramble. So it was second down. It followed the personal foul. It was a dead ball foul after the play. Third down and eight. Football at their own 22. They send three receivers to the left side of the formation. Single back is Calvin Jones. Back to throw McCant. K-State blitzing. McCant is sacked back at the 15-yard line. Brent Venables chased him first. But the sack will be given to a Quincy Griffith. K-State stunned it into the gap stand and allowed Griffith to get the sack on McCant. Nebraska's got a punt. They did an outstanding job of forcing McCant to step up into the pocket. And right there was a Quincy Griffith who made the tackle. It was an all-out rush by the Kansas State Wildcats, a team effort. Some players forcing him inside, Elijah Alexander and crew. And there, Kansas State again makes a big play on third down. And the penalty after the play was over on Nate Turner really hurt the Cornhuskers. Mike Stiggy. Takes the snap, gets the kick away. This is a spiraling low kick taken by Smith at the 40. Mike will try to duck his head. He's at the 45. 50, he gets slammed right at the 50-yard line. And he got popped from behind with a major hit. 
Andre McDuffie, a backup fullback, hit Smith from behind. Mike will stay into the game, but he got popped. The punt was a state 31, Nebraska 24. Wide to the left side, Andre Coleman. Wide to the right, Mike Smith. Madden and Gallon of the setbacks in a split formation. Now the backs come up and listen to Watson's play call. This Nebraska crowd trying to be a factor here. They will option to the right side. Watson will keep. Breaks back against the grain. Gets a block. He's at the 40. Watson is at the 30. Watson's 25 and drug down from behind at the 24-yard line. Saving the touchdown was Curtis caught in the left corner. And Paul Watson is playing the ball game of his life, Stan Weber, throwing the ball and running it. Paul Watson did a fantastic job. He checked to the option play. Remember, that was an audible that Mitch was talking about. They were in the eye formation. They were had a lead option to the right side, but by the time Paul Watson got to the tackle, he saw nothing open to the right. He cut back to the left. Toby Lawrence made a big block to spring Watson down the left side. Watson makes a 26-yard run, and now K-State's at the 24-yard line of Nebraska. First and 10 Wildcats there. 10.40 left to go in the game, 31-24 K-State. Hand off to Madden on a quick pop up the middle, and that fullback, a senior fullback, drags three Huskers across the 20, down to the 18-yard line, Tyrone Bird. Makes the stop for NU. That time it was the quick count, quick play to the fullback, Madden. K-State's got the ball at the Husker 18-yard line, gain of six on. Very critical drive for the Wildcats because you don't try to stall the last 10 minutes of a football game away against the Nebraska Cornhuskers with a seven-point lead. You've got to stay aggressive. You've got to score when you got the opportunity. Kansas State started at the 50. They need to put some points on the board right here. Single back this time is Madden, tied in left. Two receivers to the right. Hand off Madden again on second and four. Short of a first down as he squirts up to the 16-yard line. Be a yard short. Pat Engelbert. The nose guard. 16. Single back is Gallon. Tight in left is Russ Campbell. Flanker left is Bent. Two receivers to the right. Hand off Gallon. In trouble. He loses his footing and goes down at the 15-yard line. Gallon lost his footing, Stan, and went right down after a gain of about a yard. Now K-State will have to try a field goal. Wildcat football brought to you by your participating John Deere dealer. A real bad break for the Wildcats. The offensive line had opened a crease over the right guard. Eric Gallon would have been able to make the first down, but right when he caught the football, he saw that gap, tried to make a cut. His foot slipped out from under him. His knee went to the ground, and Kansas State is forced to kick a field goal because they didn't make the third and short. They place the football at the 23. This would be a 33 try by Wright. He had a 26-yarder earlier. The placement, the snap, the kick by right, an angling right to left kick that's no good. He missed it wide to the left side. Tate Wright misses a 33-yard field goal in Nebraska. 33-yard field goal in Nebraska. And of 10 points on a missed 32-yard field goal by Tate Wright. The Wildcats with 8.35 left in the ball game leads 31-24. to Nebraska will take over the football at the 18-yard line. Calvin Jones is at the 30 and up to the 40-yard line and forced out of bounds at the 44. Stan, a gain of 24 on the run by Calvin Jones on first down with 8.28 at any time. Last week had, having long touchdown runs of 40 and 61 yards against Oklahoma State. They're going to run the football at the Wildcats. Power eye formation. McCant this time with a long play call. Five-man defensive front for K-State. McCant will option to the left side. He stumbles and goes down. No gain on the play. Joe Boone made the penetration. Jody Killian also there. And C.J. Masters team up to knock down McCant for a locker. Brooks Barta. And then he was able to take it up the sideline and put Nebraska in a third and short situation. William Price leads K-State and tackles with 10. Hand off Calvin Jones. He runs into Joe Boone. He's short of a first down. On a third and two play, he picks up a yard. And not will what will Nebraska and Tom Osborne do? The winningest active coach in college football has fourth down and one with a football at the K-State. 47-yard line, the Huskers will go for it here. Well, there's no doubt. Tom Osborne, anytime he's in a situation like this across the 50-yard line in a close game, will go for fourth down. That's how much they believe in their rushing game. You talk about their favorite plays and the plays that they would like to run in a fourth down situation. Well, it's the same plays that they run on first down. They send the fullback and that, that wing back up into the 
blocking formation and take it right at the other team. So there's no doubt here with 7.41 left and down by seven, fourth down, Nebraska's going to go for it. Fourth down and one for the Huskers. Football at the Kansas State 47-yard line. 7.41 left in the game. K-State just missed a field goal to try to take a 10-point lead. Nebraska trying to keep its drive alive here. Tight end right and left. McCant, handoff goes to Brown. He dives for a first down at the Wildcat 44-yard line. It was like a touchdown play. Brown, who scored earlier on a touchdown in the first half, just dove over the stack. ...for the first down inside the 45-yard line of Kansas State. Nebraska slot eye formation. McCant, play fake. Rolling right. Pumping, wants to throw the football, being chased by Dabney, he eludes him. Now still wants to throw the football, now throws it downfield. The tight end makes a catch at the four-yard line. Johnny Mitchell, the all-big eight tight end, makes a catch at the four of Kansas State. That play was Keith and McCants. It really was. Kansas State had to, the play defended very well. Kant, who makes the big play for Nebraska. Power eye formation for McCann. Double tight ends, Mitchell left. Darryl Lysey to the right. Handoff goes to Brown. Touchdown, Nebraska. Derek Brown on a four-yard run. And now Nebraska within one. They'll bring in Byron Bennett to try to tie the football game. It's Kansas State 81 yards to the tight end. Shani Mitchell set up the four-yard run by Derek Brown, his second touchdown of the ball game and his ninth of the year. Now Bennett will try the point after. Stiggy is the holder. The snap, the placement, the kick is up by Bennett. The kick is good. We have a tie ball game in Lincoln. 6.49 left to go in the game. Kansas State 31, Nebraska 31. Back with a big red kickoff after this timeout. This is Big 8 football on the Wildcat Football Network. Nebraska goes 80 yards in seven plays. Derek Brown's three-yard run, and Byron Bennett's point after ties the game at 31. 31-31 tie, K-State, Nebraska. 6.49 left in the game. Byron Bennett will kick it off for the Huskers. Coleman and Benton back for the Wildcats. A high spinning kick. They elect to kick it deep. Coleman will take it at the 5. He's at the 10. He's at the 15, trying to angle. He's across the 20 and up to the 22 and goes down there. The tackle by... The Husker kickoff team give credit to Troy Branch. And now Kansas State has the football stand and time for composure for the Wildcat offense. 31-31 tie. 6.44 left in the game here in Lincoln. The ninth-ranked Huskers haven't lost to K-State in 22 years. They haven't lost a homecoming game in 22 years. They lost to K-State 12-0 in 68. Now the game is tied 31-31. K-State scored more points today than any time in history against Nebraska. The Wildcats have a single back with Gallon. Back to throw. Watson steps up into the pocket, throws right. Complete to Frank Hernandez who makes the catch and a flag thrown. Catch made at the 32-yard line. Nice cradling catch by Hernandez. Kenny Wilhite was covering on the play. It's going to be a big penalty here. Only in that, that Kansas State would have gained nine and a half or so yards on the catch, but with a pass interference call against the Nebraska defense, Kansas State will be able to pick up that yardage and get first down over. So they have a choice here. They can have second and short or first down right there. And this is one of those situations where Kansas State should think about refusing the penalty and being in a second and short situation. It'll be a first down for Kansas State. On the pass interference, they'll have the ball at their own 31-yard line. 6.37 left in the game. K-State 31, Nebraska 31. Defense, defense, defense. 77,000 Husker fans trying to urge on their defense. Kansas State, staggered eye formation. Receivers right and left, back to throw Watson. Stumbling in the pocket, he is flag thrown as Watson is sacked. Back at the 27-yard line, flag thrown on the play. Travis in three yards 
behind the line of scrimmage. Let's see what the call is here. Declined by Nebraska. Holding on. K-State declined by Nebraska. 6-12 left in the game. K-State 31, Nebraska 31. Mitch, that's real break for Kansas State. Actually, like you said, it's a spot foul, and it was four or five yards behind the line of scrimmage where the holding call was. It would have been 15 yards from the previous spot of the snap that Kansas State would have had to go back. It would have been first and 25. But Nebraska refuses the penalty, putting Kansas State in a second and 13 situation, which I believe is better for Kansas State than that first and 25. Second down here for the Wildcats. Football is at their own 26-yard line. They put three seconds back on the game clock here to move it back up to 6.15. Two receivers to the left. Smith is in the slot left. Hernandez is a split in left. Gerald Benton is a flanker to the right. Paul Watson today, thrown for 279 yards. Two touchdowns, 22 of 38 passing. Leading receiver Mike Smith, eight catches, 142 yards, and two touchdowns. And still a delay in the ballgame. Bill Snyder wanted an explanation. Mitch, while we have a second here, you said Michael Smith, one of the receivers for the Wildcats who's fighting for All-American honors. That is his ninth career game over 100 yards. Here we go, second and 14, K-State football at their own 27. Gallon, lone setback behind Watson. Tight end right, two receivers left. Back to throw Watson, pocket set up, throwing long, looking for Coleman, and the pass is incomplete. And with Coleman step for step, and actually getting tripped up with Coleman was Kenny Wilhite. Good. Accurate, Wilhite was there to defend the play. Another big third down play. This game has had a bushel full. Back to throw is Watson in the pocket. Throws right, complete to Mike Smith. He is hit and dropped. And for only a gain of about two yards, Ernie Beeler was right there to knock Mike Smith short of a first down by 12 yards, only two yards on the pass play. And Sean Snyder's got to punt the football. 540 left to go in the game, 31-31 tie. Nebraska doing a good job in pass coverage right there. Allowed only the short receiver, Michael Smith, open and that was only for three or four yards and by the time he turned and got his momentum stopped and was ready to turn up field Ernie Beeler made a tackle for only a two yard gain Sean Snyder with a kick away high spiraling kick it is taken by Tyrone Hughes the dangerous Hughes at the 30 yard line he's at the 35 trying to angle outside flag on the play as Hughes will go forced out of bounds another flag thrown on the play and another flag thrown flags all over the field here on the return by Hughes, who was forced out of bounds at the 47-yard line. Tackle by Jamie Mendez on the punt return, but let's wait and see what all the flags are about. We could have several different calls here. Wildcat football brought to you by your local stop to shop, home of the Junior Wildcat Club. 46-yard punt, 22 yards on the return by Tyrone Hughes. Scores in the Big 8. Kansas is just smoking Iowa State today. KU 41, Iowa State nothing in the fourth quarter. Missouri 35, Oklahoma State 7 in the third quarter. Colorado 20, Oklahoma 7 in the second quarter. Florida State 32, Middle Tennessee 10 in the fourth quarter. Miami of Florida 7, Long Beach State nothing in the second quarter. Still no indication given here on what the penalties are. They're going to replay the punt. Clipping called against Nebraska. One more chance for Tyrone Hughes to get that football stand. He's a dangerous player, and the last thing that Kansas State wants is to see is offsetting fouls and another chance for that returner to receive the ball, but it's going to happen. Snyder with the kick away. High, booming, angling kick. Hughes will take it at the 22-yard line. Trying to angle out to his right. Gets one block. He's across the 30, across the... 35 and up to near the 40-yard line. They'll mark him down at the 40. One of the nation's best kick returners set an NCAA record against K-State a year ago. And now Nebraska with a 31-31 tie has the ball at its own 40-yard line. First and 10 with 5.01 left to go in the ball game. Let's pause. 10 seconds for station ID on the Wildcat Football Network.
Mitch Holtis back along with Stan Weber. Keith and McCant, the Nebraska quarterback. First down at his own 40, five minutes left in the game. Handoff goes to Derrick Brown. And Brown gets up to the 43-yard line for a gain of three. Now they're going to say a fumble on the play. No call given. They said he was down before he fumbled the ball. Contact with the turf forced the fumble. As an official's timeout called, is Derrick Brown on the run? Kansas State had to defend the run very well in critical situations. That's the position they're put in right here this week against the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Second seven Huskers. Motion near toward the line of scrimmage. McCant will keep. He's got a seam. He's at the 50-yard line. William Price will chase him down, but he's down to the K-State 38-yard line. C.J. Masters also there, but McCant on that little reverse out option. Gets a gain of 19 yards down to the Kansas State. 38-yard line. Kansas State took a gamble there, sent their linebackers into the line of scrimmage straight ahead. Nebraska had the right play called. They were able to get to the outside. Kansas State's linebackers were not moving down the line of scrimmage. No one was chasing the quarterback from the linebacker position. He was able to get outside, and the defensive backs had to make the tackle. McCann, play fake, wants to throw the football, throwing for Bostic, who dives and makes the catch at the 30. Gain of eight on first down. K-State was giving him a cushion. And a nice fake by McCann to set up the quick slant to Bostic. The nice thing about that play is it looked like the option before. The play before we talked about that ran the option to the, the left. This time, running what looks like to be the option to the right, they have Bostic stop on a curl route eight yards downfield. They hit him, a nice first down completion. Third down, second down two rather. Second and two for the Huskers at the Wildcat 30. 31-31 tie, 333 left in the game. McCann. I formation behind him. Hand off to Derek Brown. Trying the left side. Shakes Venables tackle and has a first down. With second effort to the 26-yard line. Brent Venables had a shot at him and eventually tackled him. But Brown runs hard to get a Husker first down stand. Clock ticking at a clock stop to move the chains at 321. Left to go in the game, and the game tied 31 apiece. McCann gets the call. Brought into him from the sidelines. He'll have double tight ends with a power eye formation on first down here. Different look by the Huskers on first down. They give it off to Lewis, the fullback. He's got it the 15, the 10. Lewis is inside the five and down to the one yard line. It was Lance Lewis's mistake, which gave Kansas State, or allowed Kansas State to have a touchdown earlier that time. Lewis, the former Scott City Beaver, explodes through the middle of the K-State defense. First and goal, Huskers at the one. Well, the reverse out, making it look like it's going to be the option play, but they hand it off to the fullback. Kansas runs the ball all the way down to the one-yard line. First and goal, Huskers there. Power eye formation, handoff Brown. He dives, he's hit, he still scores. Second effort by Brown gives the Huskers a go-ahead touchdown with 2.47 left to go in the ball game, and Nebraska leads 37-31. The Huskers are able to dive over from the one-yard line. We've seen it on fourth down. We've seen it at the goal line for a touchdown. For the third time in a ball game, Derek Brown shoots off like a missile into the end zone for a touchdown, and the Nebraska Cornhuskers finally get back into the lead. They lead 37-31. An important extra point here. Stiggy will hold once again. Byron Bennett will try the point after. His kick is up, and he drills it. Nebraska's got a touchdown lead. 2.47 left to go in the game. Nebraska 38, K-State 31. Back with a Husker kick. After these messages from your favorite local Wildcat station. Nebraska goes 60 yards in six plays to take the lead, 38-31. High pooch-type kick will be taken by Coleman at the 20. Coleman's at the 25 and goes down at the 27-yard line. K-State's got 2.44 left to go in the game and two timeouts left. To try to move the They did rather than taking a lot of time. Now Kansas State has 2.44 and a chance to come back in this football game. Two receivers to the left again, and the slot is Smith. Flanker right is Benton. Single back is Gallon. Tight end right, Russ Campbell. Quarterback, Paul Watson. Play fake on the draw. Watson's in trouble. Being sacked back at the 20-yard line for a loss of seven. Travis Hill, Trev Alberts. The outside defenders for Nebraska on the front five get the sack. Clock moving at 227. K-State will go without a huddle. Second and 17 Wildcats at their own 20-yard line. 38-31 Nebraska. 
Gallon again, the lone setback. Same formation as the last play. Quentin New Year. Trying to snap the ball to Paul Watson. Watson steps up into the pocket. Now throwing long for Mike Smith, who makes a catch at the 50-yard line. A high leaping catch by Mike Smith. Tyrone Bird made the tackle, but an all big eight catch by Smith. First down Wildcats at midfield, a gain of 30 on the pass play. Great catch by Michael Smith, who was able to get his foot down while diving and catching the football right in front of the Cornhusker bench. But Paul Watson did a good job. The rush pushed him forward. He got sacked from the outside rush from Trev Alberts on the play before. But this time he stepped up from the rush and while on the move toward the line of scrimmage threw a perfect pass to Smith at the 50-yard line. Same formation. Flanker right. It's Coleman this time. Hand off Gallon. Gallon trying to angle outside. He's at the 45-yard line. Gets one block and goes out of bounds after picking up eight yards to the 42. Tyrone Leggett made the tackle, tackle, but a pickup of eight yards on first down. Minute 54, clock stop with Gallon going out of bounds. 38-31 Nebraska. What a good play by Kansas State. They've got plenty of time in this football game if they're able to continue to make first downs. That time running a draw play. Michael Smith way on the left side of the field, nowhere near where the draw was designed to go, made a perfect block. He had his defensive back on the field. When Eric Gallon moved to the left and went to run where Smith was, that block became very important and allowed Gallon to get out of bounds. Second down short. Back to throw Watson. Throwing the pass. Complete to Ross Campbell who makes the catch and out of bounds to stop the clock at the 22. Eric Gallon is hurt. He was hurt on the previous play on the run. They're trying to get him back into the lineup. But Kansas State completes a pass play of 20 yards to the Nebraska 22-yard line. First and 10 Wildcats at the Husker 22. Minute 49 left in the game. Nebraska 38, K-State 31. Mad now the lone setback with the injury to Gallon. Watson back to throw. Stepping up into the pocket, now firing over the middle. The pass is, they're going to say a catch by Hernandez at the 11-yard line. Another great catch by Hernandez at the Husker 11. Leggett covered the play, but Hernandez had to go low to get the football just before it hit the turf stand. That was a nice catch because it was a poorly thrown ball. At least it was low and safe. But Hernandez was able to dive back and catch the football at the 11-yard line. The offensive line did a great job of giving Watson time to throw. Stan, I believe that Gallon, well, he's still out of the lineup. They're trying to get him back on the field. But he is a weapon, particularly in this zone. First down for the Wildcats. Ten yards to go at the Husker 11. Nebraska blitzing. Draw play goes to Curtis Madden, and he falls forward on the draw play to the six-yard line, a gain of five. A minute 19 left to go in the game and ticking. 38-31 Nebraska. Pat Engelbert made the stop for NU. Again, really a break for Kansas State. The clock ticking now. Time is not going to be a factor for Kansas State to get in the end zone. Any time that runs off is time that Nebraska will have with the football if Kansas State scores. So it's good that the clock continues to run in this situation with a minute left in the ball game. Gallon is back in there now for K-State. Clock moving at 55 seconds left to go in the ball game. 38-31 Nebraska. Watson moving right, eluding one defender. Now throws the football for the end zone. The pass is broken up at the goal line by Kenny Wilhite who jumped in front of Andre Coleman to knock it away. It'll be second down for the Wildcats. Six yards to go for a first down. Seven yards to go for a touchdown with 48 seconds left to go in the game, and it's a 38-31. It'll be third down for K-State. Third down for K-State with 48 seconds left to go in the ballgame, and K-State calls timeout. Let's keep it here. Mitch, Kansas State was very fortunate that time. Paul Watson had a big rush on him. He's rolling out to his right and off of his back foot through the football near the goal line. It looked like there's two Nebraska defenders who could get to the football and possibly cause an interception. But no, Andre Coleman coming back to the football was right there and he almost grabbed it. But most importantly, he knocked the football to the ground. So Kansas State gets another couple shots into the end zone. Just 48 seconds left. K-State still has a timeout remaining. But now the down and distance. Third down and six for K-State the ball at the Huskers 7. Nebraska just took the lead on a Derrick Brown three yard run after Kansas State had the lead for most of the second half after the game was tied 17-17 at halftime. One of those subtle things that happen on a football field, you talked a lot about that Eric Gallon injury when Curtis Madden had to run the play from the tailback position instead of Eric Gallon on that draw. There was a nice hole there, but Curtis Madden, not as used to running that play, didn't see it quite as quickly. He made a good gain of four or so yards, but that was a play that Eric Gallon might have taken all the way into the end zone. 
K-State has its play out of the timeout. They break the huddle. Double tight ends. Al Jones tight end left. Russ Campbell tight end right. Eye formation for the Wildcats. Mike Smith, receiver to the right side. Third down and six from the seven. 48 seconds left in the game. 38-31 Nebraska. And Paul Heim was on the 25-second play clock because a fan in the stands had put a coat over the 25-second play clock. An unfortunate situation here as Bill Snyder came out on the field and K-State forced to call its second timeout. But Paul Watson could not see how much time was on the 25-second play clock stand because it was covered by a coat from a fan in the stands. I'm not sure he was doing it on purpose, but nonetheless, K-State forced to use its final timeout with 48 seconds left to go in the game, and Nebraska leading K-State 38-31. Fortunately, in this situation, the use of the timeout is not going to be too damaging for the Wildcats. Again, 48 seconds is not a concern. Kansas State is not going to run out of time here in this football game down by seven. It's third down, and they've got time to run two plays at least. If they could get a first down inside of the one, which they would be able to if they got it down to that point, I don't think time's going to be a problem. So using the timeout just takes away a few seconds that they may have to talk over the next play if they want to use that timeout. But game situation type time at least is not going to hurt the Wildcats to call another timeout. The only other time it may hurt them would be if they score and would go for a two-point play and time to talk about the two-point play. Right, well, that's what I'm saying. The discussion time is lost by using the second timeout on one play, but it's not going to cost them the football game because of the time running out. Third down six, K-State football at the Huskers seven. 48 seconds left in the game. Nebraska 38, K-State 31. Quentin New Year. The outstanding sophomore center from Surprise, Nebraska. Hovers over the football for Kansas State. Eric Gallon, the lone set. Well, now they have two backs in there now. I formation, Gallon and Med. Double tight ends. Smith wide to the right side. Play clock at 14 as Watson changing a play at the line of scrimmage. On third and six, Watson. Play fake. Throwing an out route far side. Mike Smith can't make the catch as he dives for the football and it rolls off his left hand. Incomplete. And now it's down to one play. Fourth down for Kansas State. Six yards to go for a first down. Seven yards to go for a touchdown. 38-31 Nebraska. Clock stopped with the incompletion at 42 seconds left in the game. With a double tight end formation and, and an eye formation, two backs in the backfield, Watson saw that he had man-to-man -man coverage on the outside of the field, and Michael Smith had a lot of field to work with. So he called the out pattern on his check, threw the out just in front of Michael Smith, and the ball fell incomplete. Here we go. Flanker left is Coleman. They changed the formation, put a tight end left, Campbell. Gallon close to the line of scrimmage is a roan setback. Back to throw Watson being rushed. Rolling right, Watson throws for the end zone. Caught by Campbell, but he goes down. Oh, they say he's incomplete. They say he drops the football at the one-yard line. Nebraska has held with 36 seconds left to go in the football game. Nebraska holds on a fourth and six play at the seven-yard line. They rule it an incompleted forward pass. Kansas State didn't get a good chance on that play at the beginning because Nebraska sent a blitz. A man came free, forcing Watson out of the pocket. Watson had good composure while rolling out and threw the ball to Campbell. Campbell had a chance at the three-yard line to catch the football, but there are two defenders there. He knew catching the football at the three was not enough, so he started jerking his body toward the one-yard line, hoping if he caught the football that his momentum would give him the first down, and he was unable to pull the football in as the three men fought for the football. With K-State out of timeouts, Nebraska can go to a knee and run out the clock, which is what they'll do. And Nebraska is going to escape with a win over Kansas State as the Wildcats score more points than ever in their history against Nebraska. But it's going to come up seven points short, eight points short as Nebraska is going to win this football game 38 to 31. Nebraska will not be able, will not attempt another play, and Nebraska is going to win the football game 38 31 over Kansas State. The ball game is over. The game has come to an end, and Kansas State's magnificent. Upset try here in Lincoln. Comes up short. Final score, Nebraska 38, K-State 31. Our postgame will come your way in two minutes on this, the Wildcat Football Network.